Welcome back to Endero. And many times I have claimed I would look at the wiki. And I've finally done it. So that other dungeon, those skeletons or uh, undead dude, they were just bugged. They were supposed to pop out of there. And I can get access to that loot through telekinesis. And this quest, I was supposed to look for like a hidden door or something. And there's a few options. But based on the current spot in the game, I think we're going to get the good victory. Supposed to be like, oh, this is it. Get to the basement. Oh, my. They'll set us free. They'll set us all free. He's not doing too hot. Take that. I haven't found a ton of those. Oh, let me just uh, kick some coinage as payment. That's a good. Okay, I don't have a, a key, but can I? Can't search the rat. Can I talk to you? Burn. You're all going to burn. No. Nope. All right, so I, I think she has the red madness. A touch of it. And, well, we'll have another sit. Think about what has occurred. Who? Oh, you. How did you get in? And do you have the potion? That I do. I do, but I think you owe me an explanation. What? Why? I found the daughter what? in the cellar. Oh, you... I see. And now you're asking yourself why I locked her in the cell, aren't you? Or why you even have a cell. It's these episodes that she gets sometimes. The traveler said that the belly worms cause them. Nothing dangerous, of course, but she loses her temper sometimes. So I put her down there for her own protection. But it'll get better now that you have the elixir. She doesn't have belly worms. She has the red madness. The... Ah, nonsense. The traveler examined her and said it's belly worms. Now give me the potion, will you? I'm not paying you to talk. Fine. I have more. The red madness can't be cured. She needs to be put to sleep. Tell me, you said you, the traveler examined her for free, didn't you? How selfless of him. Well, what's more? Or I like rats tails moth wigs. Do you honestly think that's how you cure fear? Blazes, how can you so blind? Your daughter's eating rats and wallowing in her own filth. Yes, because she has belly worms. I told you, didn't I? They can cause episodes. This traveler, um, he just did this for free for you? Yes, I said that. Now give me the bloody elixir. Oh, so my red rats are too low. You know what? I want to solve this properly. Can I just pull the old... Oh, I... Well, this can't be cured. Sleep. You're... You're joking. Find your toys. Show me. Unbelievable. Here. I'm, I'm, I'm going to save your daughter with a quick load. So we're not going to help you. We're going to wait until my rhetoric skill is higher. I've got some points. I don't know how high it needs to be. Probably 40. It's 40 or 50, most likely. I can get to 40. And... Why is it was kind of a wish coming out here just for that, if I can't do the quest? But there are other farms to discover, I remember. Where did they go? Oh, here's one. It's like a fishing dock. Fisher's Pier discovered. Ooh, I haven't cooked in a bit. Let's see if we have anything that's worthwhile. Some straight up venison. It's kind of basic stuff. Oh, and that was it. I'm out of salt. Always with the salt. Oh, K. 
carrots for me. You're a foreigner, Catch anything, boys? I wish I'd have crossed the Red Sea once. Oh, he's just a Farewell. wandering. Maybe I jumped on this dock at some point. Okay, no. That's a stealing chest. I can maybe look in kind of that area to the north. There's a little mine there. Yeah, we gotta be... Ice Claw. Two health? Ah, it sucks. Mm. I have something that's like... Better. Not... Roasted Salmon. That's a good one. Cave over that way. A little health with a quick save. Oh, and there's a little camp as well. Could be across the river. There's some wolves over there and there. So if that's the case, yes, that's probably the Vader camp. That's across the river, so those are out of our purview. Now this cave might be interesting. I'm getting some minor encoder overloading. And I think I'm probably good. Okay, so this is probably in through there. Have I been in this hut? Is it a hostile hut? Probably haven't been here if I left Steel Ingot. Yeah, and monies. Yeah, this stuff all would have been pretty good early game. In fact, I can do... Yeah, so I came to that tower, but I never went down any of these paths, I guess. It's a dark valley. And I'm not looking to explore there just yet. Mm, unfortunately, I need rhetorics. Three star, secret vault. Another level three. And I could have back to the Powder Desert and do that stuff. But I think our journey should take us to Ark. Get whatever tomes I can in rhetoric. Head back. But do this cave in the meantime. Somewhere nearby. It's just Caradrium. Yeah. It isn't worth anybody. Oh, is it on top? Is it tucked away here now? Yeah, it's... Oh, might be an alternate entrance. Yep. Oh. Nice. For people, is that bandits? In the house? Who knows? Pit shelter. Oh, it's... Crab Fiesta in here. Oh wow, he survived. Oh, there's some tough crabs. I hear some skedaddling. Is there a third crab? Oh, there's a fish. Take that. Random barrels. This looks vaguely familiar. Ending with like a crab den thing. The chest has got stuff in it.
Oh, is there like a boss that was right here? Sitting in a chair? No, that's a different place. Could have had respawns though. Can't see me. Oh, you can't. You dead. Oh, your torch. Clever. Is kind of dark in places. But I'm kind of on the look for... I mean, we've got a coin purse. I mean, stuff is here, unless it's respawning here. Yeah, roasted salmon on a plate would not be left by me. Oh, that's actually okay value. Empties. This just goes to the heartland. Take this book. Oh, is this this is different. Oh, crusty bread. Another cooking pot, but we need salt. Oh, empty chest. I'm getting mixed signals here. Two for twenty-five. Give it to me. All right, so I think that's it. I'll just use this for certain. Okay, yeah, that's it all. And keep my sword out as I step out. Oh, what the? Strange. Yes, yeah, so all the way up there. Okay, so we're close to Ark, so we will have a little sprint. See if we can catch some butterflies. Exactly some, some good progress here. We know what we're up to. Got through a dungeon cave. Now we're heading back to Ark. that I can fast travel from the outside Whoop. directly to the market Monsieur? though I think I have to load into the first area yes yeah a very boring foreign quarter I mean I think that one um, curiosity guy is here but this quest line hasn't started. Gatehouse. Yes. Pleasant, melt away in rapture as a crunchy loaf of bread wanders from my hand oh, into fun. yours. I'd like to track it down. Gatehouse. Too much gatehouse. Potion parlor. Uh, oh, blocked off. Hmm? Metalworking. The soul place. Then the reason for Mugger's Ironford's bad temper. Are you alright? And if I am, what is it to you? 
Listen, I know you mean well, but not now. Please, not now. I could help. Ah, help? Who are you, Lorem Waterblade reincarnated? I maybe you could help me, but I think we both know what that really means. You want money. Small amount would do. Wants money. It's all that keeps this bloody world moving. That bastard golfer proved it. <sighs> I shouldn't talk like this to you. But still, please, just let me be. Just go. Search Gopher Silverman's assortment of goods for things which could... How would I know that? I mean, if someone else told me it would make sense, or if I overheard it. Then I'll take a look now, I guess. Greetings. Stop ignoring me. Got the dancing nomad, but it's just a standard inn. An outlander. Neighbor, yeah, they don't Isn't this nice? sell stuff, but I can use this. Seems like a quest. What I'm trying to say is stay away from those olive skinned cutthroats. They lure you in with nice words and big good advice. Problems, then bang, you put your cross under a contract that makes you a slave for a lifetime. Bad. Oh, but this isn't nice. Why would they do that? Because they're a greedy pack who have as much decency and path abiding as a bloody veteer, that's why. I tell you, boy, I am so sick of those fucking literary liars. If I were the Grand Master, I'd have thrown them out of this country long ago. Bastards, all of them. Uh, okay. <sighs> Alright, so what's going on here? Just chicken nests. I will take these chicken eggs. This is another guard tower, most likely. Oh, this is inside the walls, rarely. Butcher 3, already got one of these. Rarely is this shown in games. That's something. And this is just blocked off completely. No archers will be there. Now that looks like a uh, a butchering. Oh, it's a chicken. Okay, good. Thought it was a uh, something else going on there. It's enough wasting time exploring this area. We got to get to the market. We have a lovely signpost. Hear my words. So I have some. And I'll use these spell tomes that I get. Recipe. Do I learn recipe? I don't know. It's red. Oh. Spells. Or no, I have to eat the book. Okay. Doesn't sneak is too low level. Okay, so that's it there. Oh, that's the guy, I think, right? Yeah, you're, you're an outlander, aren't you? You don't know this. Hmm. And screw. Ah. And did yeah, he's not gonna give me a quest yet. You know he's got questing, probably finding artifacts. All right, so rhetoric. This guy feels like a rhetoric guy. The others are gonna be more combat focused. All for the. So my rhetoric is at 28, technically. Well dressed. Walk so anything dead. above 25, so... Okay. All your heart could ever desire. Take a look. Rhetoric through 25. Adept. I'm at 28. Take me to 36 if I buy them all. Let's do it. And I can't even use Vegas them all. Any book on rhetoric? 
crafting points. Then seven learning. Light armor two-handed is a good place to be. Marksman sneak. I do like me some sneak. Because what else am I going to put it into? I guess, yeah, block. Because you can do weapon block. Time. All your heart could ever desire. Take a look. Yeah, he just has the craft, a learning, light. Oh, I could go into light armor. Just take hits. Or sneak it up. Technically, the higher level stuff is more betters, I would think. I only got 4,000 to work with. Let me... Okay. I can do four before I need 50 books. All your heart could ever desire. Take a look. So, light armor. Apprentice. Light, uh, sneak, light armor adept. I do one, I do four of these. And then expert will take me above that. I think two, right? Or I just, if I just buy 10 now, if I could afford them, then I'm set with expert books. May his or I need you. 25 expert books. Never mind. But I'm gonna have some awesome light armor back if you find yes, now light armor is just cranked out Time. oh I have to go down oh no I have I spent my point so okay then I might as well just do a basic selling run to get that extra hundred or so pounds off Hammers, daggers, swords, looking for steel. Everything for the path abiding soldier. I've also made that thing so I can. Line precision. Yeah, it's not part of a set. It's not better. Stays. See any duplicates in there? Wait, there's one. And there's one. Come again. That should be. I can probably just. Yeah, that's most of the weight, so I can stop at that, I think. Because I also have to have a whole crafting alchemy episode just to get that under control. Harold. Okay, so can I help you? Let's try out our red wreck real quick. Head to the Myra Tower. Actually, that may not be the best course of action. It's hop and a skip. So I just want to go to Northern Gate. There we go. Main gate, northern gate, northern gate. We don't have a northern gate. Southern quarter. Okay, I would have to know what it is. Is it the barracks? It's under city barracks. Barrack quarter, maybe? I think that's to the left of the entrance. So if I can leave heading north Greetings. is this 
Yes. Does this make sense? This is a gate. Yes. It's very similar to the other one. Greetings. Oh, I've never been here. The Northern Watchtower. Grab my leak. I have a book. Don't need it. Or times it. Okay, I don't need to sleep just yet. Got some daylight left. Yeah, this makes sense to me. Deal. I was like, I am going to take all that. It's this first little town place. Oh, and there's another farm I haven't discovered. Probably never went this way. What have we? Lower haystacks. Let's see if there's rats in here. Vader, or Vader. That's it. The mad rats. Don't really need their junk. Something glowing in the corner. Was that like? Just that, or just the light. I was like, oh, maybe I had one of those. Unlockables. Ouch. There's a pile, I'm seeing are there any oh I don't think so. It's a bear bear roll oh chunk of cheese, that's nice. Oh a backpack. Always good things in backpacks. Alright, I think we're good. See any undiscovered hmm? stuff? Ahoy. You don't talk. Hmm. I don't care. Greetings. Oh, this is the direction I need to go. Got distracted, but I was naturally doing the right thing, so of course I would wind up in this general area. Unless they're not. I'm gonna make it. I made it. Alright, we'll quick save again. Should I just like. 
wait for Meryl. Okay, I have to go to that whole shenanigans. None of it registers as steel, so. It's really just a rhetoric check. What's this? Golden house. They'll set us free. They'll set us all free. Nice. Okay, she doesn't talk to me, so it doesn't matter. Let's see any goodies back here. That he does. Who? Oh, you. How? What? Why? What? It's these episodes, but it'll get better now that you have the elixir. The... Uh, nonsense. The Tell me. You said and the traveler... Belly worms. Well, now give me the potion, you're for you? free? How selfless of him. What are you getting nice. at? You got hoodwinked by a quack. That's what I'm getting at. How much did you pay for this recipe? Two hundred pennies. But he needed the money because, because... He's a trickster. The man saw your situation and tried to make a profit. There are no belly worms, neither here nor in Kira. No, but you're wrong. You're... <sighs> oh, Blazes. How could I have been so stupid? You were just desperate. Yes. But now, the red madness. You always hear about these kinds of things. But you never think they'll affect you until they do. And there's really no cure. You should mix some Dawnflower juice in the potion and it'll just be falling asleep. No, but the apothecary in the Sun Temple are working on one. Find a keeper and have them escort her to the temple. They... they are working on a cure. So there's hope. It's not likely, but... I see. There. Then I will tell one of the guards to inform the keepers. Let's hope they don't turn me down. Look, I... I don't know what to say. You have given me back hope. And maybe the Apothecary will give me back my Bea. Here, take this. It's an old heirloom I found in the attic, and a gem I found on the wayside some moons ago. I was planning to save it for a rainy day, but... you deserve it more than I do. Thank you, stranger. And may your path always be even. Okay, we got... Puff beats amulet. He said he gave me a second thing, but it looks like I'm fine with an amulet. Let's see. Hoof beat. Okay, increase carrying capacity 10 pounds. Okay, that's a good one to keep on hand. If I need to, it's like, oh no, I'm screwed. Give me that extra little bit. Hmm? I'm not going to steal your shit in front of you. And at least that plate. Alright, so that is solved. Perfect success. I mean, I think I'm gonna have to try to take on some level 3s, unless I'm about close to leveling. Eh. Kind of. Let's use one of my scrolls. I've got a bunch, right? Uh, I'll use a Sun Temple one. I think we have a Kalia quest as well that doesn't move the main story forward, but would move uh, our story forward. Did you find? Search the Clea in the temple or the secret vault. I like the secret vault idea. I believe that is in the backside. It's called secret vault. Search the secret vault. Search Clea. In 
investigate oh investigate the secret vault Investi investigate investigate the secret vault Yarrow's laboratory yes here but so I haven't searched in a bit uh, do I want to use up my bread already what's cooked rabbit's foot profit Just ruining the beauty of the area. Don't mind me. Got wrecked before, so let's quick save. Got meditation, that won't do. Snickton oil is the most solid one we've got. Guess we don't have any keys to any of this stuff. To the secret vault! Oh, that's. Oh, just paper roll, that's. Fixed. Ranged attacker. Oh. Elementals. At least one. I see a second thing back there. Conjured guardian. Oh, in case he blows up. He didn't. Okay, we defeated the first one. Got our heal on. Oh my gosh, there's two of them up there. There's no way. Alright, so let's quick save. I'm gonna run away, but I'm gonna jump over here, see if there's anything I can loot. Let's see. Um oh, look at all of them. Yeah, this is a bad news place. But we're aware of our shortcomings. That's probably going to be like a level 30. To not get destroyed. And so that's a 3 star challenge. I'm still not ready for 3 star challenges. Now what to do? Kalia makes sense. Maybe I need to go to the dust pit. Oh, and I'm supposed to join the, um, the dudes. Put in the door. Okay, I think I can complete that. And that? Okay, okay, there are quests abound. A lot of them in Ark, too. Yeah, those are all too much for me. I could complete that though. Yeah. Well, let's look in the temple first. Oh, she's outside somewhere. Hello there. So, Ira, good to see you. I heard about what happened on Half Moon Island. It's a wonder you and that mercenary made it back alive. But war, it just seems so unreal. How has it come to this? Now we not only have to fight these high ones, but also some fanatic who thinks he knows best. Typical. Oh, is this bugged? Oh, here we go. Opposing us, Crux seems to be convinced what he's doing is right. It's almost the high ones are using nothing better than unnecessary war. Why poison the brink of extinction? Crux seems so convinced. 
If they are, then maybe we were foolish to think that the Red Madness is the only weapon at their disposal. Tell me, Sa'ira, how is it possible that our beliefs about what's best for mankind are so different? Why are we so eager to be at each other's throats? How humans are? Seems like an easy answer. Just how humans are. I'm not sure. You know what I find so hard to understand? Why there are so few people who actually care. So few people who feel the need to change something like you and I do. <sighs> there are moments I just feel so powerless. As if we all know that if we keep going like this, we're headed for a catastrophe. Can we third when person? Changing course, we just stand by and watch. Do you know the feeling? I mean, you don't understand why so many people are so dis... Yeah, too well. I do, but I stopped agonizing. Can't expect everyone to be idealistic as you are. Yeah, too well. I thought so. Whenever I think about it, I find it so hard not to get angry. Take all those upper city snobs with their colorful garments and exotic perfumes. They could put all that money to such good use if only they wanted to, but no, they don't. Because they just don't give a damn about the poor. Sometimes I imagine going down there, grabbing one of them by the collar and dragging them down into the Undercity. And there I'd force them to see, just for once. But even that probably wouldn't help. I guess we only care about the things that directly affect us. Who fights against poverty if he's never suffered from it? Um, but blowing this out of proportion... I'll tell you that, you know. No, it's not. Oh, it's not? It should be what everyone does. Ah, I see. <sighs> and once again, you've had to listen to another deluge of my whining. I guess I'm just not a person for pleasantries. Sorry. No need to be. I enjoy our talks. Hmm. Sa'ira, I... I have to ask you something. You said these... things to me. Why? Uh-oh. Uh, well, I thought we could spend some time together in private. I was only joking. But, I mean, if I want to play dumb, no, uh, we could spend some time together. I was only joking around. I think that's a little too direct. Oh, because you're a good person, that's why. Is that a problem? No, but I... I just don't think... Oh, yeah, because you could transform and then murder everybody. <sighs> I'm not made for things like that. I've never felt the need for them, and honestly, I think it's dangerous. At least for me. You're saying you've never had feelings? Oh wait, well that's the only way forward. No. Never. Oh. Not even me? Because. You know a lot about me, Sa'ira, and I appreciate our contact, which is the only reason I just told you all of this. So please, respect my wishes. Mm, of course, of course. Let's leave it at that for now. We've still got a lot to do. The first of Quarax chips will be sure soon. They already have. Be prepared. I've already fought them. That's a nice 300. Okay, now what? Secret Vault? Nope, not happening. Pit Fighters. Little goods scandal thing. I think it's all going to be in the trading district. And that is, I believe, a three star. Yeah, so that's not happening. Yes. To the market! Hear my words, O path abiding people of this holy city. A miracle has happened. I think I know where this guy is. Must have been. Or, no, he's through the other alleyway place. Hey, you're an adventurer, aren't yes, you? Have you been to... so this guy has the dialogue for it. Oh, hello. I haven't seen you around here before. Oh, where do you get your words from? Uh, that depends. Uh, some I get from adventure. Or should I say, gathered. Uh, nowadays, you can't even set foot. Oh, a bit of this and that. Uh, feel free to take a look. Uh, is any of this stuff suspicious? All the 
Because, I mean, I don't know what I'm looking for. It's kind of a problem. And can I tell? Look at this. Are they in order? Maybe search for things which could belong to Ironford. What? What do you want? Oh, a bit of this and that. The blue silk robe oh, comes to the top. That makes sense. I'm willing to risk it. Luck blessed. So that guy's in another district. I should be able to go here, drop off this quest. Yes. I could. Do I have enough recommendations? Let's see. Zoria said you're honest and not afraid to get your hands dirty. And that means something. Gunnam doesn't know who you are. You should go introduce Gunham. yourself to him. He might have a job for you. Old Rogash said you're a path abiding soul. And he's one of the eldest workers here. So, congratulations. Well, that's not enough yet. Go see if any others have work for you. Gunnam. Okay, you. Move along. Huh? Oh, got your papers. Yes, you do. Thanks for helping. Okay, I just had to do that first. Walk bless. Let's see. Doria said you're. Well, Gunnam said you're all right. <laughs> I. Old Rogash said you're a. Pa That's an impressive result. You seem to be reliable. And we always have use for reliable people. But still, we can use you. You can start as soon as you want to. Great. Oh, these quests are going to get me levels. Ask him for work. Yes. So I'm a member now? <laughs> Why, of course. But tomorrow you can move into the guild's house and Mal Deloren will come to wash your feet. <laughs> I'd like that. I like you, you know that? You're still so green and honest. That's a rare sight in this trade. So I have to be a merchant to become a real member. If you're after the badge, yes. But you don't seem like the merchant type to me. But that's not a problem, however. With the right attitude, maybe you could reach the rank of vassal, or even protector. But that's a long way up. What do they do exactly? Regard the holy dealings of the sickle, of course. Only a fool would send a caravan through the powder desert without a proper escort. And reliable mercenaries are as rare as a talking Leoran. But that's what vassals and protectors are for. But let's not get carried away, shall we? If you're really planning to get hired as a vassal, you'll need to do more than run a few errands. I'm ready. Well, aren't you eager? <laughs> But it's your lucky day. There is something. But be warned. You'll have to earn your money this time. That's what we're here for. need a bit of explaining first. As you may already know, a good merchant doesn't depend only on himself, but also on his suppliers. Well, the best skinners, nothing without fur. The best bakers, nothing without flour. And that is the problem. Helga Hafner is a farmer who's been producing grain for the sickle for ten years now. Since two moons ago, however, his fields lie fallow. Interesting. We find the reason? Right. But I need someone who can do it discreetly. Which makes you the perfect fit for this task. Hafner doesn't know you, and he must not find out that we sent you. Very good, why? Because we suspect that his fields will stay barren permanently, whatever's causing it. He denies it, but we have to know. And that is your job. Handle it properly, and it won't be to your disadvantage. 
So if you steal Stay Baron, what will you do? Kill the contract, of course. A farmer who doesn't deliver is of no worth to us. Hmm. Hmm, makes sense. It does, unfortunately. I'll find out what's causing That's it. That's what I wanted to hear. Do you have a map? Now here, that's where you'll find his farm. And again, stay low. <laughs> oh. That's my natural instinct. Alright, so where is he? I'll have to... Oh, he's right there. Hmm. Okay, so that's queued up. This thing's queued up for me to talk to the guy again. So I'm thinking maybe I should head to the pit. It's getting dark as well. Oh. You're an outlander, aren't you? Oh, this guy is stealing shit. Yeah. What do you want? Rumors about the horrible information. What do you mean? Wager as a merchant over here. A lot of useful things. Let me see. That's not very much, but fine. A couple of moons ago, I had a really strange guy as a customer. Oh, this guy. He wore two sabers, like those coal people do. But when he moved, I think he was an assassin, as they call him. Quiranian contract killers. You can hide. And unlike those everyday scroungers, they know how to wield a sword, like Lorem Waterblade did. Who knows? Maybe that'll help you. Now, I just put them out for you to look at. Tell me what you need, and be quick about it. Her barrel. Ironford's loot. Well, I think I have the evidence. Walk. Yes, that other thing was completely yes. useless. Oh, he's right here. Ahoy. How convenient. Mm hmm? Here's the loot. Any chance this has to do with your anger? That? By Malthus, where did you get that? You didn't buy it from that cutthroat, did you? Please, let me see it. I I need to know it's real. Sure. Thank you. By the name of the sun, yes, that's hers. And Vera was right. I, I don't know why you're doing this, but thank you. This really means a lot. You're welcome. And who's this Bella? What? No, Bella. She was my daughter. She left us one moon's turn and a day ago now. My condolences. Flesh maggots. She... Oof. Ah. A week before we found out, she had met this young man, you know? Oh, you should have seen her. There was so much life in her, so much joy. And then, all of a sudden... No, it just isn't fair. I've lost a good friend as well, not too long ago. You did? I'm sorry to hear that. She was a poet, you know? She could play the lute and sing like no other. And she even taught herself how to write. Vera, my companion, and I, we thought she would one day travel through the lands and become a bard. Ah, oh, what am I saying? I'm sure you have better things to do than listen to me grieving. But in case you want to know how her lute ended up in that bastard's hands, we had debts. And only three weeks after Bella left us, a Duneville caravan that carried a year's load of iron for us got robbed. But of course, neither that nor our loss made any difference to that cutthroat golfer, and he threatened to get me thrown into jail if I wouldn't pay by the first day of Star Summer Night. Well, I suppose you can connect the dots for yourself. The loot was precious, and we didn't have a choice. But still, it felt like selling a part of her. And until now, we had nothing left of her, save for the casket. Keep the loot if you want to. It's a present. Yes, that's very generous of you. Really, thank you. What's with this casket? The treasure chest. That's what she called it. She kept her songs and poems in there, and she would never show anything to anyone unless she considered it perfect. You know how poets are. And now she's gone, and only she knows how to open the casket. Interesting. But you're a locksmith. Aye, I should. But the casket was a present I made for her myself, and I made the lock special. It's a complicated mechanism, but, simply put, there are four bolts that need to be pushed in a certain order, and only then will it open. Of course, I could smash it, but who knows what would happen to her things. If I somehow destroyed them, I would never forgive myself. 
I see in that inscription. The loot has something to do with the casket. Yes, left, right, left, down. But that's not all. The bolts have to be pushed 12 times. So we're missing eight hints. Do you know if your daughter left more clues? Aye, I'm quite sure she did. Vera and I have ideas as to where, but at the moment I can't afford to spend a single day without work. Look, you... you were very generous to me. I know it's a lot to ask for, but do you think you could help us find the other hints? Easily. Ah, thank you. I'm not asking this lightly, but you seem like a good fellow, and that is rare these days. Bella loved this book of poetry, The Red Ballads. And there was one particular edition she always rented from the Ark Library. I read some notes I in hardly it. have any coin left to borrow it, but I'm almost sure she left a hint there. And the last? Hi, there was a place Bella always visited when she had spare time. She worked on her poems there, Harbor. I think. Harbor. Oh, it's not map. far from the harbor. Do you have a map? There. If she left another clue, it must have been there. Thank you. I mean it. I will pray for you. And with that excitement, we shall end the episode, so catch y'all next time.